Quintet commentator Stuart Fulton here to give you a quick rundown on the rule set and how it might go down live on UFC Fight Pass from Tokyo in Japan next week, April 11. So, Quintet 1, completely new format, uh, new rules based on the judo concept of Kachinuki, which is basically a winner stays on team survival match. Four teams. Team Helio, Team Polaris, Team Judo, and Team Sambo. Basically dream teams that have been handpicked for their expertise in the grappling arts. Tactics are probably going to revolve around team player order, distribution of weight throughout the team, uh, and survival if there's 20 kilograms or more weight difference. So the whole team has to make 430 kilograms or less the day before the tournament. So that's 948 pounds for all five members, maximum. First, the rules. No heel hooks. This is controversial on two levels. Uh, the first is it's a legit submission if we're truly seeking the truth uh, in the submission arts. And naming no names, but uh, Josh Barnett, uh, Craig Jones are professionally programmed to go for these. Uh, so this could be up for review after the first show uh, if the overwhelming consensus is for heel hooks. Uh, but because of the injury and career implications for the fighters, um, this is a, a contentious rule that is erring on the side of caution. No pile driving. Uh, Big Nog survived it against Bob Sapp, uh, but not everybody is Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. No neck cranks, so that's any twisting of the cervical spine. On paper, this could affect those who are catch wrestling oriented. No scissors takedown from standing position. If you haven't seen it, go and check Rio Chonan doing it to Anderson Silva in Pride. Outstanding. Um, however, I'd say this is a, another preliminary rule to avoid injury that may be reviewed and amended later. But again, erring on the side of caution. No jumping into close guard. Uh, it's seen as defensive uh, and also there's a danger to the knee joints. Minor fouls with warnings. You will receive a warning uh, from stalling in close guard. No clear attacks uh, from standing or any attempts to attack from standing. So that echoes the uh, no jumping into closed guard rule. Uh, you've got to attack, you've got to take down, you've got to submit. Only defending in the standing position, again, results in a verbal warning. Intentionally forcing your opponent off the mat, verbal warning. Intentionally going off the mat yourself to avoid submission or bad positioning. Another warning. All the usual obvious ones like no biting, fish hooks, grabbing hair, attacking the groin or the eyes. Uh, you have to be careful to grab at least four fingers. Uh, three or less could result in a warning from the referee. This could be a difficult one for the fighters in, in the heat of the moment um, and the referee real time being able to see it but we can all agree that no small joint locks are given. Uh, obviously no striking uh, and that includes the shoulder punches. Here's where the pressure hits. Fighters will be warned if they sit without any attempt to grab and engage their opponent. So in Japanese we say yasumuna. So that's do not rest. If you're seen as resting, uh, you'll get a warning from the referee. Then, if you receive a warning, you have to crawl to the middle of the mat uh, and your opponent gets to start with his or her hands on your waist, very similar to freestyle wrestling. Both fighters getting a warning results in a restart from the standing position. Uh, no wrestling shoes is another important rule. Bouts are 8 minutes per round. 
or four minute rounds if the weight difference is 20 kilograms or more between the two fighters. So that's uh, about 45 pounds or more. The round time gets halved. Bouts are won by submission, of course, uh, or if someone goes for a wee sleep, uh, DQ from three verbal warnings. And in the last bout, the fighter with the least warnings wins. If both have the same number of warnings, the referee decides by raising a flag. It's a 12 meter by 12 meter mat, plenty of space. But if there's any risk of the fighters going out, uh, the referee stops it and restarts the action in the same position. The old stop, don't move situation. Last but not least, winner stays on. If you win, you're on to face the next guy and so on. So that's a, a potential of uh, quite a long time uh, of fight action. So conditioning is going to play a big part here for the guys. If it's a draw, both fighters are out. Next uh, fighters come on. If the last fighter loses, his team loses, it's a one day tournament, there's no carryover. Um, <clears throat> and the team who wins the first round has to present to the officials the order of the fighters who have not fought uh, to fight next. So, what to expect? Well, the fighters themselves don't know what to expect, how it's going to go down. It could be chaotic, it could be full of upsets. Uh, but one thing is for sure, uh, we have teams of elite grapplers eager to show their styles, arts uh, and dedication. April 11, live from UFC Fight Pass here in Tokyo, Japan. Be there.